uh, hello friends in this video I will talk about the SRIM software so if you search on the Google SRIM 2013 then you will come on this page so uh, SRIM stands for the stopping and range of ions in matter so this is widely used for to study the doping profile inside the material let's say if you want to study the doping inside the silicon uh, by the if you want to implant uh, boron atoms uh, then you can just simulate the profile inside the SRIM uh, so this is widely used for the doping profile studies inside different material if you want because during the design of the transistor we need to perform dopings if you want to design the diode uh, PN junction then it's still you need doping so these types of simulations uh, can be quickly performed to estimate the doping profile inside the material Mm, I use this software to study the radiation damage in different material like silicon germanium, gallium nitride and diamond. Uh, I also use the FLOPA and then compare the two results but uh, the good point of this software is that it works at the nanometer level. Since you want to design the transistor at the level of nanometer so you want to study the doping at the level of nanometer and hence it can be used there. But uh, if you want to use the FLOPA uh, then your mm, then your target size should be a, at least of micrometer size uh, then you can use it but it uh, since we don't have the transistor sizes of the order of nanometer so you can perform these simulations here so in this video I will tell about uh, how to run install and run the uh, this of this SRIM uh, inside Ubuntu not in the Windows Windows is quite uh, for straightforward but in Ubuntu is also very simple I found the trick to how to do the in a simple way so I will explain it and I will also uh, tell about how to run it so first you have to go to the click uh, on the link download stream 2013 so when you click on this link you will find uh, several information here so there are two versions, two main versions 2008 and 2013 in 2013 if you want to download 2008 click here if you want to download 2013 then click here this is standard and this is professional so I downloaded already professional if you click here it will uh, download this file uh, in your uh, download directory wherever you want to download in my case it's download directory so let's say then I already downloaded and I put in a particular uh, directory so I put here uh, I downloaded this file same 2013 pro e now what you can do here you can just convert it into a exe then you can easily extract so if you just click rename it then it will now you can see the type is changed now you can easily extract uh, it here now it's already extracted the next thing we have to understand about it uh, if you want to run uh, any software you need to have a uh, many libraries and this should be linked during the runtime so in windows uh, we already we have uh, the file types is dot dll dynamic linking libraries uh, we also have here uh, that in the one to it's also called uh, dot so means uh, shared objects basically this is also called the dynamic linking library in the case of ubuntu if you create by using some make file or cmake file so this has to be linked during the runtime and then your software will perform the uh, job so I will use the same same idea here also that idea is same so what you have to do so first uh, to run this let's try with to run it so, so now we are in the directory of Mm, where I extract this uh, same 2013 Pro now to run the software any software within the Windows uh, if you want to run in Ubuntu uh, you can use uh, Vine so Vine so if you want to run it let's say I install Vine first so this is uh, I install the package Vine is stable so if you want to install it you can just simply do sudo apt to get install Vine is stable and uh, uh, so then it will install or you can search on Google how to install this vine so I ins already installed it so if you want to r uh, let's say run this now this is executable now 
this is the stream executable in the same directory and then you want to run it with the help of wine let's first run it now you can see here this window is open and you can see that there are several er errors related to libraries basically uh, it doesn't load the libraries so then if you click here it will not work because it will open here if you just put any let's say demo demo boron inside the silicon cello implant it will terminate i expect it will terminate yes you can see that the files is not uh, regi registered the file is basically missing so this library is basically missing now we have to first uh, implement the libraries let's go to one so for this what you can do uh stream setup has uh, all the libraries now we have to link with them so one of the main executable is msvvm so what you can do now wine we can simply run it executable and then if you just click on this then you can see do you want to install it at runtime so this is a um, one of the executable will be used during the runtime so then it asks do you want to install the vb runtime so okay then i will say yes and then installation successfully done okay now next thing let's go again on the previous one now we try again uh wine and then you can just type stream i want to show error also so that you understand what is happening here now you can see uh, several errors has gone previously we have many errors now you can see the several much of the errors are gone now few error remains now still what we can do now you can just simply read it quit okay you can simply read these files is missing these files is searching in the same directory so we can put this file in the same directory then i think it will be working let's try it now you have the files stream setup there are files you can copy these all files you want to put and put in the same directory where you have the stream 2013 pro and then it will automatically pick uh, these libraries and also there are some libraries inside it dll files dynamic linking library uh, this will be required during the runtime and then i can just uh, select all and then you just skip this executable we don't want to have auto setup so then click here and then put in the same directory where you have a stream.exe now you can just paste here now every files we put here libraries we put in the same directory now it should not complain about the library and it should run basically now i click on wine now you can see there is no complaint in the uh, about the library and now you can easily run it now you can see that no complaints here libraries and then we can start with a demo let's say boron you want to do dope in the in silicon oxide as a cello implant so to understand we have uh, some demos and then you can see this is the this is the uh, target layer target layers from and the input elements uh, elemental properties is given here and this is the layers in the target and this is the uh, ion we want to implant so let's say we uh, this is the example we we can change it also by using here clicking here and then uh, this is the boron and then the uh, you can see the property and the energy if you want to change you can change also angle of incidence you can change it and this is the target layers if you want to add multiple targets uh, all more targets then you can use it and then you can define corresponding elements here also uh, then the, you can see that the name of the calculation you can also change it here if you want to change it and then the total number of ions you want to simulate uh, uh, it will be uh, this much if you want to change it uh, to less then you can also change and uh, these all settings you can change it now if you want to go run it simply what you can do save and uh, save input and run uh, trim this will ask uh, some 
questions and then you can say yes and then you can see it is started running and basically you can see the silicon oxide layer what we supplied here uh, silicon oxide layer of 900 angstrom and then we have 1100 uh, uh, silicon now you can see the boron of 10 keV inside silicon and uh, this is basically uh, telling the doping profile so you can see that the uh, doping profile uh, basically looks like this and it you can also check the other properties like ionization you can see the plot uh, and then you can also see the lateral range how much is this and then the ion distribution you can all things you can see it and the ion distributions in 3d these recall distribution ionization and the damage target damage these all study you can uh, use uh, you can all all, all all things you can see here all the plots uh, generated uh, during the calculation so then you can see that uh, doping profile looks like this uh, so you can all you can also modify the material if you want uh, to modify if you want to study further other uh, uh, doping inside the other material so you can also change the thickness and everything you can change uh, here okay thank you